What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with another episode of Got Em Early of the Jordan 5 Low Clot. Now guys, we have the Jordan 5 Low Clot, and these are set to release on May 20th. They come with an extra pair of laces, and I'm not gonna lie, I recently just did the Sleeper Keeper this week. Make sure you guys go and check it out. The series is back in full effect, and I had a little bit to say, like I really was just looking over these sneakers. I really didn't care too much about them. But however, holding these in hand now, I can definitely say that there's definitely some dope quality and features in this sneaker. You have some embroidery on the back end right here, as well as an embroidery on the back of the clot symbol. It also features a satin silk like material on the upper, but at the same time, it does feel very thick to the point that I think there's something underneath it. It's a huge possibility. Clot is known for having Air Force Ones out there that have materials underneath it. We had recently the Jordan 13 Low, which was also, also a clot and now the Jordan 5. We recently went over to Soul Play and saw these firsthand as well as some upcoming releases like the Jordan 9 Chili Red. We also saw the Jordan 1 Stash, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, those are amazing. All right, so I'm gonna be 1,000 with y'all. I honestly think I'm about to pick these up today. I honestly think I'm grabbing these today to pick up. I'm gonna be 1,000. Bart here told me to take the strap off to see the shoe without the, even, without the bag on the back, and he said it looks even more dope. So I'm gonna do that real quick and just take a look at it. I like them, bro. I honestly like them. I don't know why. They're satin, which people go crazy going, you know? Like, I, don't, I mean. I like them without a bag. Yeah, the bag makes it even better. I mean, it's a cool little gimmick. I honestly think I might be picking these up today. I was not into this is, I don't know. I just like them. They're black. They come with a, like a, this, a shoe bag. Like, come on, bro. For $175? Retails $170 on normal Jordans? Like, you get a lot for something that typically they would charge you $200. Like, $200, I'll say no to this. And it's Nike Air on the tongue, like no jump. It's like this is a Jordan One High, it's called utility, but it's a Air Air Jordan One High OG utility with a shoe bag and some weed pockets for you potheads out there. <laughs> Even come with this. I'm copping, and there's a couple sizes up here if you guys want to cop. But I'm copping. I'm taking this home. This is going with me today. Back to the clot one here. It features a very nice satin silk upper. Some dope little beads going on here. Some little accessories here and there. Lace lock. The lacing system on here is something dope and out of the ordinary than previous Jordan 5s out there. Because it features these little jade light -like beads all on the outside. On the outsole you have this green going on. Which I don't know if this is a glow in the dark or not. But it is something that we can find out real quick. Got that milky net. Got that milky mesh going on, you know what I'm saying? A little some something, and it comes in this dope box that is a little bit out of the ordinary for the Jordan 5. But you can see it, it's real nice. Has like a stone type of look or a marble type of glass, marble stone glass type of look going on. Check it out, real nice right there. And on here you have the Air Jordan 5 Retro Low SP DM4640. The colorway says black slash classic jade fire red. And these are set to release on May 20th at a price point of, I don't know. I would say maybe a 185 or something like that. That's what my guess is. Possibly 200 because it's a special collaboration and whatnot. And then on the insole, you have the Jumpman as well as Oriental styled images with the Clot logo and the Jordan logo within. Red Jumpman. I'm pretty sure this is a black 3M tongue of the Jordan right there. And overall, it's it's a sick shoe. I'm not going to lie. We also picked up some pieces from Soul Play. Make sure you guys check out the links down below in the description and use the code TonyD2Wild to get 10% off 
on your order. Your boy's been getting really heavy in the hats ASAP like crazy, you feel me? We show these in there, I picked these two up, seven and five eighths. Gonna get some bended brim sessions in very soon on them. But what's very important is the under the gift that we picked up today. First things first is the under the gift jungle shorts. Very, very heavy, very nice piece right here. Something nice to rock out during the pull. It's like of a sweater like material, but made out of shorts. Yeah, it might seem like it's gonna get hot, but at the same time, things like that can keep you cool. Sample Industries, we just dropped this tee. This tee is still available right now over on Sample Industries, sampleind.com. I'll link this one also down below. There's also the black shorts of the same type of pattern. There's a black and a cream. I picked up both of them because in all honesty, I just think it's dope. Inner Sydney Cinema tee, also dope. Faded, washed, has a little bit of distressing going on on the neck. Real wide body. And this isn't a size large. There wasn't any mediums when I went up there to grab it. Hopefully these fit, they're kind of wide body already. So if it does look big on the on body, I would definitely suggest going true to size. I'm usually a medium slash large, but they did not have that in my size at the time. So I jumped on the large. However, if they are kind of big, I'm gonna fall back. We also have the concrete jungle tee as well. And like I said, I will link these down below in the description where y'all can jump on these ASAP Rocky, use the code TonyD2Wild and get 10% off your whole entire order, every single piece you see. Another palm, another t-shirt from Under the Gift, Palms tee. Now this one, I didn't necessarily pick up, but I wanted to show y'all this one in particular. I liked it. And like I said, Westbrook, killing it, killing it, killing it. Last but not least, we have a Salmon Under the Gift, and this is just a very basic tee. I think, what's the name of this one? HTG Pack, Peach, size large. This one, dope, clean. But yeah, man, these obviously are going to be doing very well, in my opinion. At the same time, sometimes clots sit. The Jordan 13 low clots sit. So actually, I'm going to take that back. I'm a little, I don't know, five lows. They don't do crazy numbers. So whether or not this is going to sit, flip, skip, dip, or trip, or whatever, the, you know, whatever, I can see these being pretty available out there. I'll say that for the 13, Soul Play got their pairs in extremely late. So they were sitting on them a little bit later, but they did eventually end up selling out. Inside, all satin silked out, dressed up in this real nice satin material. And I'm going to have to look more and more to see if there is a undergarment material. Maybe we could do a, like a distress test video or something like that if y'all are down for that. It's a lot of cushion though right here. The shoe is like very plush. It's not just hard and flat. It's actually very plush right around this area. 3M on the laces as well. Little 3M dots going on on the laces. So something dope, something a little different. If you guys want to see a full in-depth review, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm out. Peace. What's good, everybody, man? Make sure you guys go and subscribe to my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV. I post a lot of behind-the-scenes content, extra content, and a little bit of everything, man. So I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and if you get a minute, go check it out, man. Too Wild for TV. The link is down below.